Hello and welcome to the Counselor Updates and Enhancements tutorial. Uh, we're going to start here by looking specifically at the changes that affect all Counselor subscribers. So in the patient, uh, patient's administration screen, there's now an image where you can see the patient's last audiogram, along with links to edit and view the professional report. Uh, there's also an option to view the diagnosis and billing codes uh, via the patient summary pop-up. Uh, so let's have a quick look at those first. In the patient administration screen, we have a quick image here under their profile picture of the last audiogram. Uh, you then have options then of course to edit and then of course view the entire professional report. Uh, the second option there, or second new feature I should say, is to have the uh, diagnosis and um, procedure codes available in the patient summary screen. As you may recall, uh, this pop-up screen is available whenever you're working with this patient for any reason. So it could be while you're working in a patient visit or creating a chart note or creating invoice or adding devices or uh, creating a claim. So if you ever need that information available, you can see it now right from the patient summary pop-up. All right, let's close that and we'll jump back to our list. I'm actually going to jump ahead in the list a little bit here and go to the uh, devices purchase type. Uh, this option enables you to add, a spe add specific kind of designations to a device. So let's take uh, Mr. Black here again. He has two devices in place, but let's say he purchased these devices as part, uh, maybe as a third party payer or he's a Lions Club. Or you get to control this list, by the way. So you get to set this list under administration. Um, and then here under device purchase types. So it gives you the ability to track these devices on, on, on another level, uh, which may dictate the types of services, whether there's you know for a free or uh, chargeable services related to those specific devices. Uh, so if you have any questions about how to set those types, please let us know, but you can change it within each device. Um, you also then can track it through the business report generators as well, okay? All right, let's jump back to the main screen here, or back to this profile screen, and then back to our list. Um, now, on the dashboard in the stock widget, there is the ability now for a quick add feature. Uh, as you likely know, in the past, you were required to um, uh, to go into the line item list and then add stock from there. But instead, we wanted to speed up that process. So let's just go ahead and find my stock. I'm sorry, first you wanted to find the clinic you're working in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Sandbox Clinic. And there's my stock widget. The quick add feature is now the little green plus symbol in the top right hand corner. You just simply click on that. Uh, choose the um, clinic, the line item type. So let's say we want to add an accessory here. Um, the date, of course, the quantity, and then I'll put in the serial number. So by clicking add, it will add it to the list. Now, of course, if there's any existing stock, that will show as well. Uh, so you can see that all at the same time, okay? Um, this, of course, means that it's much quicker to add stock. Uh, however, you would not be able to uh, transfer or edit stock from this area. You still would need to go into administration and then go into the line item list if you wish to transfer stock between clinics or edit that specific stock, okay? All right, so we'll jump back. And I should mention, by the way, with the stock widget, we also have added in the option to, to display uh, differently, whether they're all items in stock or out of stock. Okay. All right, so back here, now looking at the business report generators, uh, there's the option to uh, download the results for all clinics at once. Uh, so what happens here is within the business report generator, let's just take the uh, device report generator. You can um, filter as needed. So here I'm looking at one clinic. If I needed to filter and say I want to look at just, let's just say something here, phone act devices, I of course can filter by that. And maybe I want to look at devices that are over a certain age. So I'll just make up a number here, approximately four years. And I'll say greater than. Uh, so that leaves me with 50. Uh, and then I can say, I want to download the spreadsheet. If you want to, though, you could then say, I want to download this for all clinics. So it'll take all clinic locations and it will drop it into one spreadsheet for you. Okay. Uh, one of the columns, of course, would be for clinics. So you then can sort from there and use Excel however you wish to, use to, to, to um, review that data. All right. So now we're going to look a little further down the list here at marketing leads. Uh, the marketing leads feature is available in the top menu bar under patients. Uh, this is where you can track new leads or view existing leads. Uh, specific we're talking about here are uh, 
potential patients that have come to you maybe um, at a health fair or a community uh, presentation that you're giving or the patient contacted you through social media, for example, Facebook. Uh, they're not officially patients yet, but you want a place to track them so you're not uh, obviously losing track of them or having to keep you know their information on a clipboard. Um, you know you can uh, you can just uh, put in their basic information here and note the status. So at this point we're saying it's just received. Uh, perhaps maybe I had a, a sign-in form at my talk, and so I could then put in his specific information and then store that for later. Okay, we'll just leave that there. And then I can review any of those patients that I've logged in as potentials, and then of course follow up with them and then track their status from there. Okay. All right, then looking through the rest of these, uh, some pretty simple ones, uh, patient status. If you have a patient that's in the inactive status, and then let's say you go and add an invoice for them, their status will automatically be updated to active because we were the presumption there is that if they're uh, paying for something they're probably an active patient um, looking forward here <coughs> excuse me um, there are new placeholders for clinic address fax number as well as uh, several for uh, specific for devices uh, related to color dome size receiver size tube um, receiver and tube length uh, then with the uh, device uh, trial widget uh, we've also added in filters for the line and types and then created the ability to generate emails, letters, address, address labels, postcards, and, and of course download the spreadsheets as well. So there's been a lot of other little changes um, as well to try to speed up the system and make it more convenient for you to use. Um, as always, the vast majority of this comes from your specific uh, ideas and recommendations, so we really appreciate them. Keep them coming. Uh, please let us know if we can assist in any way. If you have any questions, just give us a ring, live chat us, shoot us an email. Uh, we're happy to help. So thank you very much for joining us for the Counselor Updates and Enhancements tutorial.